Hi, it's Barrett Cohen here in Jerusalem, Israel. You can see the hill country behind me. You might be able to see the Temple Mount as well, just uh, beyond the Wailing Wall. What an unbelievable experience. I've been very blessed to go last year as a pilgrim. Again, this year as a pilgrim, but a little more work than pilgrimage perhaps, but it's been an absolute blessing. And one of my favorite things so far this week has been to really sit down, go to the uh, ground zero, if you will, of, of the pilgrims and talk about the experiences they've had, uh, the transformative experiences, what has really touched them the most and desiring that deep, authentic relationship with Jesus. And really some of the things they say, you really can't write a script any better. It comes from the heart. Check it out. I guess I didn't know what to expect when, um, when I signed up to go on it. Um, and there was, I think, a lot of expectations on myself to feel like I had to, you know, to grow in a certain way or, or I did these expectations to be a certain level of spirituality before I came and versus when I left and it is the trips just exceeded my expectations it, the the personal journey that I've I feel like that I've already started just since I've been here has been overwhelming I guess is the best word to explain it. This pilgrimage has been an opportunity to connect more with uh, the person of Jesus Christ um, and being a not just a person you read in a book, but uh, a person who's real um, and who cares for us and uh, wants the best for us and uh, is not just a, someone who existed long ago, but someone who exists in, in our hearts um, and in, in scripture and in sacrament. I would say for me, a lot of it makes me kind of sad because I think about how real Christ is and how much he suffered for us and it makes me feel like I don't do quite enough or not even near enough. Um, comparatively to what he did for us. So it makes me just want to come back and as everyone says, it's life changing. I want to change my life. I want to, you know, do more and spread his message and evangelize as much as possible. And um, so that for me is, has kind of big, the, been the biggest influence for me. When you're talking about connecting people to the person of Jesus, it's hard to take, it's hard to take somebody where they haven't been. So if, if I'm giving you directions somewhere, it's hard to give directions if I've not been there before. So this experience allows me and, and uh, other, other teachers in the Archdiocese to connect more with Jesus and, and therefore they can say, be more alive and a passion in their heart of, of who Jesus is and, and w what prayer means and, and what the sacraments mean. And they can bring that forward with, with a, a life and passion and um, uh, that, that someone who knows the way or, or who has been there before can really give. I think the school of faith and this pilgrimage and the whole, just the whole thing is so critical for our schools. Um, just for me personally, as a, as a mother, a previous teacher, I mean, to bring, to live as a disciple and to bring this back, to not just speak about my faith, but to live it and to be a role model. I mean, this is where it, this is where it began. And this is really where it begins with me too. I just, you know, walking the, the steps that Jesus walked and and praying and and feeling his agony and, and the love and the relationships that he built. I mean, those are the things that I want to take back home. I want to model Mary's, you know, the way she lived her life. And I want to be able to, you know, to share that with my own children, with my students, um, that are any, the principles that I encounter um, and just my work that I do at the Archdiocese, everything I do, I want to, I, I just want to model it and just feeling it here and being a part of it has started me on that journey. My favorite place so far has been uh, the Dormition Abbey, right? Um, where Mary lived with John and died after Christ's death. Um, I feel a big connection to Our Lady and um, grew up praying the Rosary for many, many years and um, I just felt a, a closeness to her today and prayed the rosary down there in, in the, I don't know where it was exactly, but the Undercroft, yes. Um, and it was just, it was, it was profound. Jesus is loving relationships. It's, it's Jesus is self-sacrifice. Jesus is the Trinity. 
everything that I think that Jesus is always comes back to relationship. Relationship of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Relationship with us. Everything that He desires is our love.